Now, what's this you may ask? Well, this appears to be a fan-based Sonic game called Sonic Time Twisted by Overbound Studios. Uh, it came out last year, 2014, in some sort of demo form. I think it's got three acts. I thought I'd give it a go because it looks pretty good. You can choose from Sonic, Tails and Knuckles. So we've got uh, different acts you can pick from and it's based around the Mega CD version of Sonic. So you've got uh, Future Zone and Past Zones. And the Mega CD version of Sonic is very good. Sonic CD, well worth a go. Uh, probably my second favourite Sonic game after Sonic 2. So here we've got a familiar intro screen with Tails and Knuckles and it's got some good music this and, you know, pleasing graphics. Uh, so this is on PC, easy to control, keyboard controls, and yeah, it's we've got new features which feels like a Sonic game. It feels like a new Sonic game has arrived on the block. Uh, it's better than the crap that Sega pushed out recently on the Xbox and so forth, Sonic 4 and all that. This is... I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we've got the spin attack, of course. All these different enemies have got. All, there's lots of looks like casino zone elements in here. Uh, we've got like all the pinball flippers, which was a great. Uh, there we go. Look, we've got the machine. If I can get to it, yes. And that was a fantastic zone on the original Sonic. Was it Sonic 2? Wasn't it? Uh, Sonic 1 had Starlight Zone, which was similar. It was getting there. And yeah, I thought I'd just give this a quick, a quick play and show you, show it to you because you know it's not retro, but. In a way it is, isn't it? Because it's modern retro. It's based on something that is retro, retro, and I love that. Because these games, uh, you know, they, they were lost. They've been lost. You've got all these 3D graphics now, but there was something about these games, these platformers, which you can't get back with 3D games. And this has got a good difficulty curve, just like the originals. Love it. Absolutely marvelous, man can't get enough of it. And there's a few bit of Sonic fan games I notice, but this one just popped up. They actually have uh, a channel subscribed to me and I saw it in my subscription list, so I thought I'd check it out. Why the hell not? Uh, so you've got these, these, these 3D elements, like these things which go into the background. These, what are they called? I will call them clangers, but they're not. You know what they are. They disappear. We've got familiar enemies, new enemies, yet they have somewhat of a familiar look to them which is lovely. I do like a bit of familiarity in my Sonic games. So yeah, it's not a quick bit, it's not a long video, it's just a very quick uh, showing of this monumental game. Nine years in development apparently. Nine years, nine years well spent I say guys. I'm surprised I hadn't heard of this before, to be honest. I think more people should hear about these sorts of things. You know, why aren't these games released on a bigger scale? I mean, a lot you get a lot of homebrew games now. The homebrew, in many cases, is sort of leading the way because you know, it can do stuff which the big software houses just won't do. They're like afraid to commit to things which are going to appeal to masses of people and a massive retro community. Such a massive scene. Things like Games Master as well, that should be brought back. How awesome would that be? A little retro section in it. My god, people, what are you missing? I'm, I want to try and get to the end of the level before I disappear. For no other reason than I want to see whether it's got the familiar... Um, what's it called? Spinning sign. We all like a bit spinning the Sonic signs, don't we? Whoa, Sonic, what's happened to you? Oh, he's dead. I don't know what happened there. A bit of a glitch, maybe. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, yeah, Sonic Time Twisted. Check it out. It's a free download. Give it a whirl.